But most individuals who are running crowdfunding campaigns, what they quickly find out is it is a full-time job. And one of the reasons for that is they often have a lot of messaging that needs to go out. And a lot of these platforms, if it's Kickstarter, uh, they're not really built as a messaging platform. So one of the common themes that we see from individuals who start community while they're in a, kick fund, uh, a crowdfunding raising uh, stage is that it's easier to message and respond and engage the community in a single area on their site. So for instance, if someone keeps asking the question, I would like that product in blue, are you going to provide it in blue? You have to go in as the owner in Kickstarter and answer that question every single time because they don't have threaded comments. And so you're answering the same question over and over and over and it becomes a full-time job where you know if you can direct them into the community itself, your community members can say, yeah, they, it's blue, and, uh, or they can actually search and find that answer a lot faster than they could through some of the larger platforms. One of the biggest pieces that you do find is message threading in categories. And so if you have a particular area, so if it's ship date, if it's production, if it's materials, you are able to set these message threads up inside your community where you really can't have that level of uh, identified, that level of, uh, let's see, that level of content identified within those particular communities. So that's one of the one of the biggest pieces that you'll find. The other piece is, is really connecting the individuals together too. And this is one of the more valuable things that we've heard in feedback from people who have run crowdfunding communities is that the conversation between the individuals who are actually helping fund your community actually brings out interesting aspects of things you can do on with your product or maybe even features that you can bring to your product. So connecting those two individuals together and watching that conversation happen sparks a lot of ideas, plus it gives you a lot of uh, ability to understand what are people talking about and where can I create content and, and how can I help them. The, the other great thing about crowdfunding and using community is oftentimes the individuals who are going in to set up the crowdfunding campaign, they'll start with a big idea, and this is our big idea, and they don't necessarily know how to bring that to fruition. And, and sometimes in the way that big idea, it can be thrown out there, but there can be small changes along the way that the community helps provide input to. So anyone who has ever launched a product, you know that you never end up with the initial product idea and it is never the final product that comes out of it. And this is a way for an individual, usually one or two people are launching these crowdfunding campaigns to get a larger amount of feedback and really refine what that product is to make sure they're delivering what the crowd wants.